Good morning. How are you guys doing out there today? Well, today I'm going to drive to town and uh, check the AC. But I just want to show you guys, you know, I keep it real on this channel. So this is what it looks like when you rip apart <laughs> the, uh, the bus and you're making a smoothie and just stuff is all over the place. You got your pee bottle, you know. We got spinach, blueberries. I put uh, granola and protein powder in here. It took me a few times. This thing isn't working well quite yet. There we go. Anyways, you get the idea. It's gonna be yummy. Things are out, things are a mess. This is real life. This is what happens when you park and you live and travel in a vehicle. Driving to town, <clears throat> I got the uh, thermometer in here, and we're we meaning me. I'm gonna keep an eye on this and see what the temperature goes to. It looks like it's right at 40 degrees. It is also a little chilly outside, so that could have something to do with the uh, low temperature. But so far, everything's looking good. Things are falling back there. <laughs> Once we get to, uh, also, I'm going to the park store. I'm going to return these, uh, these are returnable $10 uh, canisters. I uh, also have a couple parts for the blended door. Um, that's what blends the hot air and the cold air which comes out of the vent right here. Uh, it, it, it's a common thing to go uh, wrong, to break, etc. Um, and then on the way back, I have some, uh, some valves in the engine which control the, the heater. Well, which control the coolant to the um, heater core. The heater core is where you get your hot air, which comes out of here. It's coolant which goes through a little radiator and then it blows through hot air. And then the blend door blends the hot and the cold air together and that's what comes out of the thing, essentially. So we're gonna check that. So on the way back, we're gonna see if there's a problem with the blend door. I'm gonna open up the coolant getting hot air into the heater core, and if this uh, temperature goes up from 40 degrees to say 60, that means we definitely have a problem with the blend door, but I think we're going to fix that anyways. Also, it is, uh, <laughs> it is like the North Pole in here right now. It's freezing. I absolutely love it. So, Badge, you are amazing. I don't know, really know how to, to say thank you other than thank you I, I this I yeah I'm at a loss for words very rarely do I come across someone as generous as badge and I just want to say thank you I wish more people out there in the world were so kind to each other and uh, offered a, a helping hand so I just want to say thank you and I appreciate you all right we are now on the freeway. It looks to be uh, 40 degrees, and uh, I'm still freezing my balls off. Okay, we are now at O'Reilly's uh, Auto Parts, and the temperature is 41 degrees. It has gone higher to say 42. It has gone into the high uh, 30s. It's freezing cold. Like if you were to leave your hand right in front of the uh, the vent like this, I mean, it, it would it would probably get numb after a while. That's how cold it is. So um, I'll show you guys how we turn off the uh, the coolant after I go get some parts. So I know not everyone is a mechanic out there. Well, if you are a mechanic, you know what you're doing. Um, but also, I know that a lot of people won't have this issue and won't work on it themselves. However, it's fun to learn new stuff. So that's why I'm showing you guys how we change the coolant. Now this is in the on position. There's one here as well. And we're turning that to the on position. And the heater core is up in there. And that's going to allow hot coolant or water to flow through. And if there's an issue with the blend door, it won't be 39 to 42 degrees anymore. It'll be hotter. 
the temperature is reading 60. It will be dropping because I just started up the bus and there's lots of cool air flowing through here. So let's check back in a couple minutes and see after driving on the freeway what the temperature is here. Uh, actually first I'm going to stop in this uh, Blythe Ranch Market. I think it's uh, a Mexican market and see if there's carne asada because if there is that would be a nice little thank you for uh, Bad Janelle. Oh man, we're going to be eating good tonight. We got some real authentic salsa. We got uh, carne asada and we got um, pollo asada and then pollo, uh, it's like the red sauce. And we got pico de gallo, authentic corn chips. And uh, we're gonna put some of these green onions on the grill. And uh, we got some uh, refried beans here. But the ambient air temperature seems to be about 80. Let's see how much it'll drop on the way back. We got uh, like five miles to go right now. We're just across the freeway in Ehrenberg. The problem is repeating itself. We are at 80 degrees. The air conditioning is the same as it was before. It's on max air, all the way cool. It is now blowing 80 degree air out of the AC. So, as you guys know, I'm not a mechanic, but from what I've learned, I think it is the door that separates the hot air from the cold air, and that is not functioning 100% because there's no reason, no other reason I think, we'll have to verify a badge, why it would go from uh, working at 39 degrees to 80 degrees, just like that. Mr. Badge, we went from Siberia to swamp in 10 minutes. What do you oh, say? It's leaking. Yeah. I, I turned the hoses, so the okay. heater core is getting hot. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we thought it was doing. Yep. So. That's why. That's why you thought your air conditioning wasn't working. Correct. It wasn't uh, the air really conditioning. It really was working. It just that it was. You thought it wasn't working. I forget where I left off. I'm back here. I'm gonna try and tackle this thing. Not not by myself. With some assistance. What? You forgot where you left off, and you want me to put it back together, don't you? No, on the video. Oh, okay. But anyways, we got Brian and Kim. Hey guys. Uh, they showed up. We got L over here and the little pups. Uh, I'm gonna try and do as much as I can before I call for assistance from the master sensei over here. <laughs> you know, this looked a lot easier in the YouTube tutorial than it actually is in real life. And I think Badge is right. I think this is uh, what's called vacuum operated because that looks like a little vacuum device there. We're making some headway. I think I got all the little plastic screws out. This is about as far as I could get, which is almost zero progress. Um, I need my sensei's help. And also, me and Brian were talking about potentially, potentially, it's weird to say this, selling the bus to this man right here. Please. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. It could be happening very quickly. I'm totally open to it. Uh, I would like to do bus number two. Um... Yeah, so I don't know, something to sleep on. All right, so after a nice, I would say 45 minute-ish uh, conversation with uh, my buddy Michael, who is a master builder, we are coming up with an idea for bus number two. And things are kind of in the mix. There's no decision to be made, but it sounds like we might have a nice idea that's all. That's that's the only hint. Well, it's not much of a hint. We have a very nice idea to go into bus number two. So I'm very excited. And the reason, if anybody's wondering, you have a nice bus. Why do you want to get rid of the bus? For a couple of reasons. One, I would like more space to have more people with me. Uh, two, um, the diesel it, it doesn't grow on trees. Uh, so. I could potentially, with my new bus, do a veggie oil thing, or I could have more people with me uh, with more space for storage, sleeping, etc. Maybe sleep four to six comfortably and then share the cost and maybe have some kind of like 
collab bus where people come on, you know, they want to make YouTube videos, you know, they don't have tons of money, but they want to travel, right? There, that's a potential idea um, with that. I mean, there's a lot of things kind of floating in the air for bus number two, but I know if I keep going <laughs> in this thing, um, by say summertime, it might be kind of tight. And then if I have to sell it, I might be kind of in a bind and I, I would just rather kind of cash out and have a lot to go 50 50 on obviously half of the half the cost anyways um so yeah that's kind of that's an idea so yes that is that's what i'm thinking right now okay now on to dinner i got all the stuff at the mexican market i got wow it even smells good right now you can smell all the spices we got uh, marinated beef well you'll see this stuff in a, a sec marinated beef and chicken and we got green onions for the grill we're gonna make Badge and L and uh, Brian and Kim some authentic Mexican food, fresh tortillas, refried beans, authentic uh, chips. Oh, and also we have a neighbor over here, off in the distance. He had some brake problems. So guess who the nice guy was that did yet another stranger's auto repair for free? This guy, Mr. Nice Guy Badge over here. Mr. Philanthropic Mechanic himself, Badge from Canada. Or Hollywood Badge, as we call you now. Hollywood <laughs> There, you want to Arizona. Sm smell this and, and guess what it is. Ooh, that smells like shrimp. Oh, shrimp, huh? Shrimp. <laughs> shrimp, he says. I oh, man. Canada's a long ways from Mexico, Badge. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to get the drone out right now. It's uh, sunset time. And I uh, had a funny conversation with Badge, he's like, he didn't know I had a drone. And I was flying it, you know, in a, a video that came out a couple days ago. He's like, oh, I didn't know you had a drone, yeah. I was like, yeah, I have a drone. But to be 100% honest, sometimes I'm just a little bit lazy with the drone, you know? Like sometimes I like I can't be bothered, but as much as this is a journey of different places I'm going and things that I'm learning and people that I'm meeting, it's also a journey in filmmaking. It's not my background. I didn't study film. I studied boring economics and yeah. Anyways, got a little sidetracked and did some performing stuff. But it is time for the drone. Hey, do you know what time it is, Badge? It's, it's drone time. It's what? Drone time. You wanna fly drone it? Drone time. I'll let you fly it. I don't know how to fly this thing. <laughs> what do you do? You just stuck. Throw it on the ground and... Yeah. That's that thing you had on the ground. There we go. I'm not so sure about handing off your drone you know, to a mechanic. Do you know how much this is worth? <laughs> All right, so you're going to uh, first hit the red button once. Okay, now we're recording video. And then uh, hit that one with the up button. And then slide that white over to yellow. Hold, let go. And then le left hand, uh, left thumb, press up. There you go. Now you're supposed to watch the screen, because <laughs> that's what you're looking at. Now go all the way up. It was not changing. Go up. <laughs> what do you think? It's not changing. What do you mean it's not changing? It's the same picture. Watch. See? <laughs> Look at that sunset. Isn't that something? Yeah, it is something. That's worth buying just to see the sunset from the way up there. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, yeah. See that, Jackson? We can't see that, yeah. but he can. That's right. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You, can, you still got a piece of the sun over there. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that. Uh. Al, I found something for Christmas. Yo, Billy, tell Ma you're missing out, man.
All right, so this is what, what I bought. You invite a whole bunch of people I don't know about? <laughs> this is why you don't go shopping when you're hungry. No I, kidding. I got three quarter, no, I got one pound of uh, the asada chicken, pollo asada, one pound of pollo adobo, and then that, that over here, I forget how many pounds that is, uh, 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 one and a half pounds, two pounds of uh, like carne asada skirt steak. So we're going to have a very authentic... Mexicano. <laughs> Mexicano uh, dinner. We're gonna do some tacos, kind of fajita style. Um, and I can't even spell Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh, by judging by the spice uh, level of the uh, salsa, badges in for a treat. <laughs> I wish there was smell vision There is not. L, do you want to do the uh, honors and smell it and tell me what it smells like? Oh, it smells wonderful. Does it? Yes. I mean, on it. Does it smell heavenly? That's a lot yes. of meat. Oh, that's a lot of meat. That that's is a good. lot of meat. That's good. So I highly recommend the meat market marinated meats. The chicken was two something. Uh, the steak was a little bit more. But if you're lucky, they'll make authentic homemade salsa. Pico de gallo, we squeezed one lime in there. The lime, I guess, makes it soggy. And then, you know, got some traditional hot sauce, totopes, you know, tortilla chips. Man, we are some good eating nomads tonight, that's for sure. I'll see you guys on the next uh, uh, next upload. Thanks for watching.